So in this video, we are going to talk about two very important concepts of Angular. So first is the services. So we are going to use services which is very much similar to component but not the same. We are going to talk about what are services, how we create them and how we use them in our Angular project. So the second most important thing which we are going to discuss is dependency injection. So what is dependency injection, how do we use it and what is the benefit of using that. Hey everyone, this is Kamran and I'm a full stack web developer who has been working in the industry for a long time and I'm creating this Angular video series tutorial for all the beginners and for whoever interested in Angular 13 framework. So till now we have created a basic project and we have played around modules, components and we have passed the data from one component to another. And now we are going to look into a very important concept of Angular framework which is services. So what are services basically? Basically, you can define services just in a single word. Services are the components without an HTML template. So basically, if you remove a text HTML template from a component, it will become a service. But there are few more differences which we are going to talk in depth. So services are mostly used to share data between different components. So let's say we have two different components in two different modules and they are far away. They are not immediate parent or a child to each other like we discussed in our last video. So let's say in a situation where we have 10 level of child parent hierarchy and in that we want to pass the data from the top most to the bottom most. We just can't simply pass the data from each of the component and get the at the bottom instead of what we can do we can create a service which is a separate entity from this component and we can import that service in both the components where we want to share this data and then we can pass the data from that service to each of the components see so this is the simplest solution while we deal with data sharing over the whole big angular application so now we will create a series service and we will try to understand how we can exactly share data between two different components so services are also created through angular cli let's try to create a new service inside our application so the command will be similar to what we are using to generate component and modules so instead of module and or a component we have to write a service over here so ng generates service and we have to pass the name of the service so we have to say services we are going to create a folder name as services inside that we are going to create a service but remember there is a small difference here so when we are creating a component we are simply passing a name of that module or a component and for service you have to create a folder and inside that you have to create the service so let's say from the, for now we are going to create a data service so i am going to create a folder name as data and inside that i am going to create a data service now let's enter this command and you can here see that this command creates only two files one is the service itself and the service pack which is the testing file for this service now let's look it inside this file so in the source folder app folder we have this folder services and inside that we have this data side folder and in this folder data folder we have this service over here so let's now try to read these things right so first of all we will get to know that it is injectable so what exactly is in then injectable so these services are loaded once when the whole application is loaded and then this this service is made injectable that means you can inject or import a, this service into any component or we may make all the services injectable because in the angular we follow a design pattern in which all the component class request a dependency from an external source rather than creating them now let's try to implement what we were talking about so we were talking about her data sharing through a service so what we are going to do we are going to take two of our app components in which we want to share our data between them and then we are going to use this service to share that data let's open two of our components in our user module in the last video also we have used two of our components which one was the category component and the other was our card component right so let's open both the components uh, here card components so in the last video we shared the data between these two components directly from each other right so now 
let's assume that these components are not the direct parent and child component in apart instead of that these components are far away from each other but we want to share the data between them right so what how we can do that so we are going to use this data service for that so let's try to understand how we can do that for that we are going to use an observable what exactly is observable so observable is basically a pub sub system where you can publish a data from one place and this entity will hold the data and pass it to all the subscribers which will subscribe to this publish uh, this uh, observable so for that we are going to import up observable from rxjs package so rxjs is an angular by default package which is used to make a reactive components so let's now try to import that first so we will import from rxjs and this should be in a single inverted commas and we are going to import behavioral subject so this behavior subject is you we are going to use as a observable in our service so first we are going to instantiate this behavior subject so let's do that in a private variable so i'm going to create a new private variable data stream uh, this is just a name this is not exactly a stream right so i'm just going to say a new behavior subject and i'm going to instantiate and in this we are going to pass a, in this we are going to pass a data which will be a string so by default i am going to pass a empty string in this so this will behave as our uh, observable so here first i am going to create a method in which i am just going to return this as a observable so let's name this method as a get data stream and this will simply return our uh, data stream as an observable to so return this dot data stream dot as observable and this will be a method and now i'm going to create another method which will be using to put some data into this string so this method we can call as put data to stream and now i'm going to say that this dot data stream dot next and this will pass the data to this and this will be our data and uh, this data i'm going to take as a parameter from this function which will be a string so i'm keeping these all things as a string for now you can keep whatever you you are required to keep that you can use it as an object array or whatever you want to do use it as so first i'm going to subscribe to this observable right we are going to subscribe to this observable in the component which we, where we want to get the data right so here in the card component i'm going to get the data so import this service first uh, so here it will be from that dot 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 and from this i'm going to import the data service and this data service i'm going to inject in our constructor so this will be a private and this i can rename to something whatever i want so this you can keep whatever you want so i'm go going to use it as a data service and in the constructor itself i'm going to subscribe to this data service okay so let's do that so i'm going to create a data variable and this and i'm going to use this dot data service dot get data stream and this method will get me the data stream and i'm going to subscribe to that so this will be dot subscribe simple as that as simple as that and the parameter we have to pass an object and object can contain two different things which will be next whenever we are going to get the data we are going to call this method so and this we know that we are going to get this as a string and then we are going to call this method and along with next we can also get the error right so error will be also a function and this error for now we can keep it as any and then we can pass this into a function and we are going to simply log this error in case we get some error from here and for data what we can do we can update this string into some local variable and then we can show that variable on our html so let's create a new variable uh, th this we can name as at a service data and this should be a string and by default it should be an empty string and then i can update this data from here this dot data service is equals to data 
so let me reiterate what you have done here so i just created a uh, i get i just get the observable from the service and i subscribed to it whenever i'm going to get the data from this service i'm going to update this in it in it in this local variable and this local variable i can just show it up here and i'm going to add another paragraph and then i can just update over here so subscribing is done all we have to do is to publish some data from this category so in this category we can what we can do we can add a button and on click of that button we can subscribe uh, we can publish data to this service right so let's add a button over here mm, button and then we can say this button can say publish in service data and again we have to add a if click event inside this and this also we can name as publish data and this will be a method which we are going to define inside our component and this will be a method uh, so here we first have to import the service right so let's import that uh, the same as card component we have to inject this into constructor so let's inject that okay now use this data service to push publish some data so this i can do this dot publish the data service dot put data to stream and here i can pass any data data published from parent or uh, category so this will say that this this data has been published from the category component right so let's reiterate what exactly we are doing over here category html we are adding this button on click of which we are going to publish some data to this uh, service and in this service what we have done we have created this observable as well which are which we are subscribing in this card html and this card html we are simply whenever we are getting this data we are going to update this in the service data so on the output we can see that we have this publish publish service data button so on click of this this will publish some data to the service and this service will pass the data to the child component let's try to do that and here you can see the publish data from category has been displayed over here this means the data has been passed to the card component i hope this whole se sequence you have cleared about you can review this video again and again to understand the concept properly if you have any question regarding e service dependency injection or anything related to this video you can point it in the comment section i will review it and i will answer it as soon as possible thanks everyone for watching the whole video and i would like to suggest you to subscribe this to the video and as well as share it with all your coder friends so that they can understand the concept of services and all other concepts of angular 13 Thanks everyone. See you in the next video. Happy coding everyone.